Sometimes with children with autism, people don't understand them and may feel a little bit uncomfortable around them. And Brad never experienced that. And I have not seen that by anybody at Ground Zero. I'm Brad and I'm a volunteer at Ground Zero. <laughs> Ground Zero is a place where kids can go and be accepted and feels like a family. Brad, though he's very shy, had a hard time making friends. And so we moved here when I retired and my husband retired. And that was a little concerning for me that he would not find friends. We got him into a counseling just to help him cope with the big move. This guy, Jonathan, was awesome with him and recommended Ground Zero, which I'd never heard of before. None of us had. Since I moved down here, um, it's been hard making friends, so that's one of the reasons why he should have just had help out there, was to meet new people, kind of get out of my comfort zone. Being a nervous mom, <laughs> I uh, got a tour of the place and felt very comfortable with the people that I met that showed me around and that, okay, this is gonna be an okay place for Brad to volunteer. This is gonna be awesome. And uh, so we started bringing him down there and they were wonderful to him. I mean, he fit right in. They just welcomed him with open arms. Filed the application to volunteer there and been there since. <laughs> so I would make run the slides for the songs um, help bring up the uh, food and drinks if we start to run away or uh, run out. They saw in Brad something and they let him just use his talents and they're just so receptive, loving, caring, and just, he's appreciated there. No matter who you are or what age you are, you are valued at Ground Zero and loved by the people that are there.